All right, Shalom. I want to begin this lesson by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Racha, Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole four elect. <coughs> Excuse me, scattered abroad. This is the brother you wanted, Don, coming from the Great Millstone Salt, Great Millstone West Palm. Back with another lesson, and I pray. This lesson is edifying, all right? And I just wanted to touch, you know, on a subject or matter, if I may say, you know, which happened at, you know, previous camp. You know, a Jake individual uh -uh, walked, you know, past the camp, and under his breath, he uttered, you know, I hate when y'all out here, man. You know, and you through the spirit, you know, that, you know, that bothered me, man. You know, because a hey, our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, you Israelites, a lot of our people don't want to hear the words of Yahweh Bashmal Shah. All right, because when we go out there and preach this word, when we go out there to prophesy this world, this world to proclaim this word, this is not of us. You know, neither are these our words, man. You know, Yahweh Bashmal Shah is putting his words inside of our mouth man he's giving us the instructions you know all, all all we are doing is reading you know but we just see that our people refuse to hear the words of the lord not only do they refuse but they despise it you know they despise seeing men with bibles you know on the highways and byways you know but to think it was all good when, you know, we were smoking weed. It was all good when we were living like niggas. But now, you know, we're trying to change our ways, not only trying to change our ways, but trying to do better according to the ways of Yahweh Bashamal Shah. Now it's a problem, you know, and that's why it's going to be, you know, like the, the elder Apostle Gabar made a lesson. It's going to be an ethic cleansing. You know, meaning that there's going to be a mass execution, a mass destruction. And it's first going to begin with the nation of Israel, man. Two thirds of the nation of Israel, 66.6. .6, all right. Um, that's the percentage, you know, when you go to a pie chart, you know, two thirds, 66.6 .6 of you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans are going to be destroyed by 200 nuclear um, nuclear IC. I see uh, BM, all right, you know, intercontinental uh, ballistic missiles, man, okay, and, and, and that's going to be the future, you know, and I want to first begin at Second Chronicles, the 36th chapter, all right, this is Second Chronicles chapter 36, verse 15, and it reads, and the Lord, Yahweh of their fathers, sent to them by his messengers, rising up betimes and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of the Heavenly Father and despised his words. Again, you know, these are the Heavenly Father's words, man. All right, alongside with his only begotten son, whose true name is Yahweh Shah. Okay, and it says, and misused his prophets. That's right. You know, the Heavenly Father has set up his men to be a tool. Okay, so. For those that don't know, for those that aren't um, aren't in tune, can go out there and get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay, because just like how it says in the book of Proverbs that a wisdom utter her wisdom utter. Um, matter of fact, I want to grab the scripture. I, I don't want to roughly paraphrase no scriptures in this lesson, man. You know, Lord willing. Okay. And this is Proverbs chapter one, verse 20. And it reads, wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. That's right. Meaning that this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is going to be in the streets. Okay. Verse 21. She cried in the chief place of concourse and the opening of her gates. And in the city, she uttered her words saying, how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicities? And scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge, man. That's what we're seeing, man. You know, fools hating knowledge, man. You have to be, you ultimately have to be a fool to, you know, refuse, you know, uh, the words of Yahweh Bashmah Shah, you know, and hate the words of Yahweh Bashmah Shah. You know, to be an Israelite, you know, to be one of Yahweh Bashmah Shah's chosen people, even though, you know, Jake don't realize it. 
you know, but for you to turn your ear away from these words, man, you know, it, it's really going to be a damnation to yourself, all right, because us being in captivity, we realize that we went wrong, man, you know, we realized we were wrong, the way that we thought that was right, it was wrong, okay, but the Heavenly Father has set up a remnant, all right, Yahweh Bashamal Shah has had mercy upon the nation of Israel, but start foremost with the elect, that remnant, all right? So we actually have tools. Not only don't we have the tools, but we have apostles and elders and great men set before us through the spirit to show us the right way, all right? And we're coming back into our heritage, man. We're coming back into being princes, man. We're coming back into being a, a rulers, all right, you know, because we're all being molded how to rule and a, 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 a righteous ruler. All right. is going to lead his people in the right way. But a hey, point is we've been wrong. So when Jake is on the street and, you know, spewing, I hate that you guys are out here. That just to show you how far Jake, you know, has been brought low, man, you know, because a lot of our people don't understand what's about to happen. You know, even though, you know, like how it says the, um, in First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, you know, peace and safety. You know, even though you can go outside and it still may look normal, there's many things that's happening, you know, through the spirit. And that's why hey, this is a spiritual warfare, man. Because what Esau, Edom, hey, it's not going to, hey, it's going to continue in all means to try to establish his NWO. Hey, that's his main agenda. And that's why in Psalms, the 17th chapter, and let me get it. You know, Psalms chapter 17. Uh, yep, this is Psalms chapter 17, verse 13. And it reads, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Right. And this is, uh, matter of fact, let me read the whole verse. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. That's right. And who is the wicked? Esau, Edom. Going back to Genesis um uh I, I believe the 27th you know chapter if and i may be mistaken but esau edom was blessed with that sword all right but a hey, king david said what king david said to what deliver me all right from the wicked man all right but going back to disappoint him all right we want you how about to disappoint him and he is all right because esau edom again is gonna go by all means to try to establish his nwo man and you're seeing it right now you know with the inflation all right you know um esau edom you know uh his tongue falling upon him you know because they're trying to uh, elon musk wants to wants to establish his newer link and the list can go on man okay but esau edom is thy sword okay and we want Yahweh Shai, which he is, we wanted to disappoint him, man, but deliver us, all right? Deliver us from the wicked, okay? So while you people are walking around here acting like nothing is happening, Esau Edom is going to not stop by all means to try to establish his NWO, man. And we're seeing the beginning of it, man. Okay, but to go back, I want to go back to second. Uh, second Chronicles, the 36th chapter, forgive me. All right, this is sec Second Chronicles, chapter 36, verse 16 again, and it says, But they mocked the messengers of the Heavenly Father and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people, till there were no remedy, man. Okay, hey, until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people, man. And that's what we're about to see because a lot of our people, you know, they've been too comfortable in Babylon, man. They don't know the Heavenly Father, man. All right. It tells you that in the book of uh, Jeremiah, man. For my people have not known me. Okay. A lot of our people think the Heavenly Father, who you ignorantly call God, is a man of love. All right. Which he is a man of love, but he's also a man of war, a man of destruction. All right. You know, a man of judgment, you know, a balanced power, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, which have been scattered abroad the whole world. But 
is uh you know major you know the majority of them which is in uh, america which is babylon do not know the heavenly father man all right they know they know what they have been taught by these slave masters man through christianity okay and let's get that jeremiah all right the book of jeremiah chapter 4 jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22 and it reads for my people is foolish they have not known me. They are sodish children, sodish meaning stupid, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, man. And that's what you see, man. To say that you hate <laughs> when you see men with Bibles in their hand, you know, telling you the gospel. <laughs> you know, that's what we out there to do, not only to establish these words, of Yahweh Bashmal Shah, but we're here to tell you the good news that we're, I mean, we're here to tell you the good news that hey, the Heavenly Father thinks more of you than a nigger, you know, than a black American, <laughs> you know, than a Haitian, you know. He calls you what Yasharala, you know. He he is a prince of the power, man. We're here to establish that the good news, hey, but our people are our people are wise to do evil, okay. All right. Meaning, you know, if we was out there telling you how to make a hundred stacks and then people would love to love to have us out there, man. You know, if we were out there to tell you and hey, we got a hundred peas, you know, we got weed, we got drugs. Our people would love to hear the knowledge, man. OK, but we're out there proclaiming the words of the Heavenly Father and our people hey, scoffing, you know. Our people are speaking against, you know, the Heavenly Father because hey, we're, we're only tools, man. We're only instruments. The, this is the Heavenly Father's show, okay? You know, and these are his words as well. So you don't hate us. You hate the Heavenly Father, man, whose correct name is Yahweh, all right? But, hey, at the end of the day, the Heavenly Father is going to have his last laugh, man. It tells you in the book of Proverbs as well, man, how, hey, they're going to they're gonna try to cleave you know, unto the men of the Lord, are they going to try to hear this word? All right. But, hey, you know, we're going to laugh, man. You know, we're going to get that as well. But even tells you how there's going to be what? There's going to be um, a famine of this word, man. You see, that's what many people don't understand that there's going to be a famine of hearing the words of the scriptures. And, you know, a book that a hey, the, the perfect book, I mean, the perfect movie that shows you that is the book of Eli, okay? You know, where there was a time of war in the movie where they had all the Bibles to be destroyed, but Eli remembered them. You know, he had the sword, but he had it in his inward, you know, and that's what's really about to happen in the times we coming because Yahweh Bashamal Shah is going to give his elect, you know, his men to download. And that's why Isaiah, the 33rd chapter 6, verse says, Wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of thy times. All right. And, it, and that's the wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures, man. OK, but um, I want to read. Um, I'm going to read Jeremiah chapter four, verse 22 again. And it says, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sodish children and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good. They have no knowledge, man. And we see that, <laughs> you see, even though the heavenly father, the creator of all things, man, whose true name is Yahweh, you know, we seen the wonderful works, man. And we also seen what he has also done, man, to his people. All right. Wouldn't you want to fear, you know, the one that has put you in this condition? All right. Not just last week, you had an Edomite going to a grocery store and kill 10 Jakes, man, you know. That would be enough for people to fear. But a lot of our people, hey, they're damned anyways, man. You know, they're numbered to the sword. Or, and that's what you see, man. Those jakes that got gunned down, they were numbered to the sword, man. And there's going to be many more uh, judgments like that, man. There's going to be many more cases like that. Because our people don't want to turn back, man. You know, and, and, and we may sound like broken record in these scriptures, but hey, it has to come. Hey, hey, these words have to be proclaimed, man. And and I want to get that too. Um, let me see. Proverbs chapter 
proclaim. You know, proclaim says to announce officially, 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 or publicly. Okay, and I also wanted to get it was another one proclamation. Right, I wanted that proclamation. Proclamation. Uh, spelled that right. Get it in the uh, Merriam-Webster. And it says the action of proclamation, the state of being proclaimed, something proclaimed, and an official formal public announcement. And that's what we're doing with uh, Yahweh Bashmal Shah's words, we're making that proclamation. Also, you know, we're publishing, you know, going into that word publish in the Merriam-Webster, okay? And it says to make generally known, to make a public announcement of, to disseminate, to disseminate to the public, to produce or release for distribution. And that word disseminate, and I'm not saying it right, forgive me, but I wanted to get it. The word disseminate. Is. Disseminate. All right, and it says to spread something, especially information, widely, man. Hey, doesn't um, what did you have Bashmal Shah to Ezekiel, man? All right, to go to the house of Israel and to publish this word, man. All right, to proclaim these words, and that's what we doing. You know, not only being a watchman, okay. When you, yo, let me go into the word. It says to spread abroad as those sowing seed. You see. So that's what we're doing with the words of Yahweh Bashmal Shah, okay? Because, again, there's going to be a time when there's going to be a famine of this word, man, all right? And um, Amos, all right? This is the book of Amos, chapter 8, verse 11, and it reads, The day is come, said the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmal Shah. You see? So there's going to be a time where the Heavenly Father, because again, he speaks through his men. There's going to be a time where you're not going to have access to the men of the Lord, man. There's going to be a time where, like it says in Ezekiel, where, hey, let me finish up on that verse and I'm going to get the next precept. And it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the words of the Lord and shall not find it. Right. There's going to be a time where you're not going to have access to the men of the Lord. Know these words, man. OK, because a lot of our people think that Christianity or whatever re religion that they're following is the truth. All right. But again, a lot of our people are lost, man. A lot of our people are still not following after the dietary law. A lot of our people think that the laws have been done away with. A lot of our people are not right, man. So in the times that we're coming into, hey, when they see the men of the Lord eating, drinking in the time of famine, because there will be a famine of bread, a lot of our people are going to try to inquire, you know, how the men of the Lord are doing so good. But it comes back into serving the Lord, man. All right, so you got to, like it says, don't misuse the prophets, man. And that's really where... This lesson is geared toward, man. You know, don't misuse the men of the uh, the men of the Lord, man. And Lord willing, we be a part of that number, okay? Because again, there's gonna be a time where these videos aren't gonna be on YouTube no more. So this is the time for you to be building yourself up for the times, man. All right, because again, there's gonna be a famine of bread. Not only that, there's going to be a new a uh, a uh, 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 currency, man. Okay, because hey, the dollar is gonna be done away with soon. You know, I don't even, uh, the Federal Reserve don't even back up the dollar no more, man. That's why you have all these talks of newer link. That's why you have all these cryptocurrencies, man. There's going to be a new direction, man. You even have talks of a global reset. What does that mean? A global reset of how uh, uh, everything begins with, with currency, man. Begins with money. So it's going to be a global reset on the dollar, you know. You know, they're speaking about that C-H-I-P, all right? You know, so you got to be building yourself up for them times because the book of Revelation speaks about an hour of temptation. 
you know? And that hour is going to be what? When this man, you know, Esau, Edom, beginning with the elites, you know, hey, they're going to they're gonna try to control. With that control, it's going to bring that C-I, that C-H-I-P, that M-O-T-B, all right, which is spoken about, or you can read about it in Revelation, the 13th chapter, in the 16th verse, all right? So you got to build yourself up for these times to come, all right? But a lot of our people are misusing the men of the Heavenly Father, man. Yahweh Bashem al Shah, you know? For a Jake to say, I hate when y'all out here. Hey, but guess what? Galatians 6 and 7 says, hey, the Heavenly Father is not mocked, man. You know? And also in Matthew, every idle word, man. So in the times that we're coming into, and you're going to scream to the top of your lung, why are the men of the Lord? Man, I love when they was out here. <laughs> you know, hey, I'm just speaking as a man, but that may be an that may be a, you know a case, man. You know, but this is Ezekiel's, and forgive me for rambling. This is Ezekiel chapter three, verse twenty six, and it says, "And I will make thy tongue to cleave to the roof of thy mouth, and thou shalt be dumb, and shall not and shall not be to them a reprover." For they are rebellious house. That's right. So in the times that we're coming into, hey, when you put when you put the tongue to the roof of your mouth, you can't speak, man. So it's a lot of people gonna be in try, trying to inquire about the words of the Lord. And and who does the Heavenly Father reveal his secrets to? His servants, Amos 3 and 7. Hey, but we're not gonna answer, man. Okay. Now let me go to um let me go to 2 Timothy. Let me go to 2 Timothy chapter 3, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, and it reads, and it says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, bo bo bolsters, proud, blasphemers, disobedience to parents, unthankful, unholy. Without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. <laughs> and that's what that dude was portraying, man. You know, and a hey, Lord willing that what we are doing is acceptable to the Heavenly Father, man. You know, because the scriptures speak about when a man ways please the Lord and makes his enemies to be at peace with him, man. So, Lord willing that a hey, the things that we are doing are pleasing unto the heavenly father but with that man but hey what is a, what is one thing that pleases the lord when you go out into the highways and byways and prophesy the word man so when an individual you know says i hate when y'all out there he's what he's portraying this precept despisers of those that are good verse four traitors heady high-minded lovers of pleasures more than lovers of Yahweh Bashmal Shah. Okay? And that's again high minded, man. Basically being proud, man. Being a scoffer. You know, a lot of Jake have taken on the ways of Esau, man. Meaning a lot of our people have taken on the spirit of Esau, man. You know, because that's what an Edomite does. I hate when y'all out there. <laughs> because Esau knows his his kingdom is coming down. Okay? But an Israelite, you know, to say that, that's just to show you that, hey, these the same Jays coming back, man, you know, uh, in the wilderness. Or those that hated our Lord, Yahweh Shah, okay? But let me also get, um, and, you know, I don't want to make, you know, I kind of rambled a lot in this lesson, okay? But this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 9. This is Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 5, and it reads, and they will deceive everyone his neighbor and will not speak the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies and weary themselves to commit iniquity. Thine, in, thine habitation is in the midst of deceit. Through every deceit, they refuse to know me, thus said the Lord. You see, so our people have refused to know the Heavenly Father, man. All right. A lot of our people rather just take on what they have learned man through the so-called white man they slave master man and another thing you know a lot of our people have the spirit of stockholm syndrome man you know a lot of our people have been in captivity too long they forgot about who the so-called white man is man the same man you know and hey, you've seen uh you know you've seen a case 
of uh, 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 of who the so-called white man is. All right. He showed you. All right. You know, he showed that enmity that he has against you. And when you go into the word enmity, it goes back into hatred. All right. You know, a 60, 70 years ago, you know, it was prejudice or Jim Crow laws around here, man. You know. But a lot of our people, again, having Stockholm syndrome, are loving their cap, their you know their cap, uh, their oppressor, you know, the one that has held them captive, and that's what the so-called white men have done, you know, when they brought the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans over here through the transatlantic slave trade, you know. But our people have loved the ways of uh, of their oppressor, okay. And I also want to get, um. You know, backing up, cause the he it's the heavenly Father that brings you know an enemy against Jake, man. And to back that up, this is Isaiah chapter ten verse five, and it says, "O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger, the staff in their hand is my indignation. I will send him against an hypocritical nation, and against the people, and against the people of my wrath." Will I give him a charge? So again, when you see instances of Jake getting a mass murder and it's all Jake, hey, that's the Heavenly Father, man. You know, using the so-called white man. Because again, Esau Edom was blessed with the sword. All right. And it says, I will send him against an hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath. Will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey? And to tread them down like the mire of the streets, you see? So it's the Heavenly Father that's giving them the charge to do so. All right, but, you know, I, I'm i going to grab this uh, precept and I'm going to wrap it up. Yo, I'm going to grab this pre and then we can wrap this up. But this is Proverbs. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 23, and it says, Turn you at my reproof, behold... I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make I will make known my words unto you because I have called and ye refused. I've stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear of coming. That's right. So, hey, don't think that you're going to be defended in these times, man. A lot of our people, again, are under that wand under that falsehood of Christianity, man, thinking that you can do whatever the hell you want, all right, and think that, hey, that's okay, you know? A lot of our people think I could sin on my damn life and not make an effort to change. All I got to do is call on Jesus, but that's far from the truth, man, you see? And it says, verse, 20, verse 27, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. That's right. And the Heavenly Father is going to what? Work this out through the men of the Lord, man. All right. Through his elect. Again, backing up Ezekiel, the third chapter. There's going to be a time when they're going to try to inquire about these words, man, to try to know the Heavenly Father, man. But it's going to be too late, you know. It tells you that in 2nd Ezra, the 9th chapter. But I'm going to finish up on this. And it says, verse 29, for that they hated, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Therefore, they shall eat. Therefore, they shall eat of the fruit of their own way and, sh and, sh and be filled with their own devices. For turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whosoever hearken unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. Okay? Whosoever hearken unto me shall dwell safely, man. So, hey, for those brothers, few sisters, hey, that's trying to, trying to change, hey, that's trying to hey, make their ways pleasing unto the Lord, man, keep fighting, man. Because hey, Yahweh Shah is on his way, all right? It's only a matter of time, man. You know, so keep fighting, brothers. Just wanted to make this spirit through, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah. Till next time, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, 
Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakach, Wadash, Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Milton and Ruel. Peace, blessings, and salutations, and hopefully less scattered abroad. Till next time, Shalom, Wababa, Kwam Yashallah.